My name is Blair Orme. I have been the agriculture teacher and FFA advisor at Rushville Consolidated High School for 30 years. I believe that the reason I got into agricultural education and the reason I've stayed in agricultural education is when I was in high school, I loved agriculture class. I loved the FFA and all the opportunities that were available to me as a student. When I first started teaching, we taught that we have a growing population and we need to produce food. But as we uh, progress, now we have people that want to have accountability for their food and they want to know where it's coming from and they want to make sure it's safe. So it has become more and more important for producers to tell their story and to let people know that they are producing a safe product that is needed to feed this growing population. My roots are in agriculture. Um, I grew up on a family farm in southern Ohio. We raised uh, fair to finish um, a hog operation as well as corn and soybeans and um, was very active in FFA as a high school member. Was very fortunate to be part of a fantastic FFA chapter. Spent a couple years interning and working for FFA. Uh, majored in agriculture education for two years. I've actually been volunteering at Rushville for the last 10 years working with their members. And So when Blair called me last year and said, are you ready to come back? I said, yeah, I actually am and so it's but it's been great to be back and teaching about agriculture again. Over 20% of our careers are going to be agriculture based so I'm helping these students uh, prepare for a career they might have. Um, we've been talking about some really great issues in animal science that I think all consumers need to know. We need to understand what's really going on in the beef industry. We need to understand what's going on with the new plants coming to our area um, and whether they end up going into agriculture or not I feel that they're going to leave here as educated consumers and for me that's extremely satisfying. The Rush County Farm Bureau does so much to try and incorporate our FFA membership into their leadership positions. We have members that currently attend their board meetings and not only have a say or input in what's going on, but they want to listen and hear how they can assist our FFA chapter in developing young leaders. They have been very supportive of our organization. In fact, this year our horticulture students took on a very large project. They decided that they wanted to raise food for our food pantry and we wanted to do fresh vegetables. So the students wrote three different grants and we were excited to get um, $7,000 in grants to start our hydroponic system. But in the meantime, we'd started tomatoes and had about 50 tomatoes that our students were very excited and no tomato cages. So one of our students called a Farm Bureau member and they happily donated the cages and my students have learned a really great lesson um, not only about helping others but about hydroponics and growing plants for others as well.